Having built model aeroplanes for over 20 years, I've come up with this range of rotary tools for your Dremel. And there are specific shapes which are used for, for certain purposes. Let's take a look at one or two in more detail. The first one we'll take a look at is the narrow cone. This one is particularly useful for drilling holes, enlarging cowlings, etc., and works extremely effectively on fiberglass. The next one we'll look at is the drum. This one, unlike other ones that you can buy, actually has grit on the end face. This enables you to cut vertically into foam wings, etc., when cutting out wheel wells and servo trays. The pancake has a radius on the edge. This enables you to hollow out balsa wood and is great for filing down joints in fiberglass, etc. Because it doesn't have any sharp edges, it never digs in to whatever you're cutting. Although we have other shapes available here, the last one we'll actually take a look at is the small countersink. This one has a 90 degree angle and is used for countersinking very small panel screws and works excellent in fiberglass and carbon fiber. All the shapes we've been looking at here have been turned down on a CNC lathe from mild steel. The grit's then applied in a furnace and this gives them thousands of cutting edges unlike conventional tools and they will not lose their edge. They can be used on a wide range of materials and even on wood they will not load up or clog and can be easily cleaned with any solvent. They're available in coarse or fine grit, but generally, for most modelers, the coarse grit is the one to use. Fine is really just for balsa wood and very, very light products.